best, best bag for one bag travel. Yeah. Best bag for one bag travel. We, we've found the best bag for one bag travel. I know that's a bold statement to say, but before we get to that bag, we'll tell you all the bags that we've used in our past travels. Okay. So that's the intro. Yeah. Cut that. Next. So let's start this journey about a year ago. Uh, I took a trip to Europe, uh, Italy and Germany specifically, and I wanted to go and limit myself to a backpack. So what I chose was this old trusty backpack, Herschel Little America. This is the larger version. I think it's 28 liters, something like that. Very small. Like, it's not, it's, it's more meant for like daily commuting, uh, computer bag, that kind of thing. Not really a travel bag. It was good, but I did find a few issues. Namely, it's only top loading. So if there was anything in the bottom, I couldn't get to it easily. This pocket up here, kind of useless. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to the bag. There are a couple other pockets in here, but they're not really, they don't really fit anything. They're, you can pretty much just fit sunglass case, glasses case. Um, it does have a laptop sleeve, which is nice. It's nice and felt, or not felt, but uh, fleece lined. It served me well for the two and a half weeks that I was there, but just not quite the perfect one bag travel bag. I, I couldn't bring anything back. I had no room. So fast forward six months later, we took a trip to Hawaii for 10 days for my birthday. And I was turned on to this one bag travel after his trip. So I purchased the REI Trail 40, which is a backpacking bag. Yes. And I purchased this in case uh, EO travel bag. It's billed as a more tech focused travel bag. I bought this backpack for future use of backpacking, but since we were going to Hawaii, everything needed to fit in here. I love this bag. It opens fully as a clamshell, um, so it's not just top loading. It fully opens wide, so I can get everything easy access. Awesome organizational pockets. Good stuffing anything into. Everything is stretchable. But I didn't like it because it looked too technical. I was going around the airport with straps hanging out everywhere. I wasn't using it for backpacking, which it's meant to. And I just looked kind of awkward. Similarly, I bought this, as I mentioned, because it was a more tech-focused uh, travel bag. It has this front pocket, which has a lot of other little pockets that you can put your camera, batteries, hard drives, whatever. Serves it very well, but the one of the biggest problems is that this bag is made to be expandable. And I think unexpanded, it's maybe 15 or 20 liters. Expanded, it's about 30. So roughly the same size as the uh, Little America. But then because they've made it an expandable, they had to place the, the other handles in really weird places. So for instance here, the top handle is all the way on the front of the bag. And so when you're carrying it, if you have a lot of heavy stuff, it leans over. And so either you have to deal with it hitting your leg or, or hold it the other way and basically do like a shoulder fly with it just to, just to keep it out. Not ideal at all. Um, same thing with the other side handle. The handles themselves, really nice, cushy, comfortable. Um, back, nice and soft. It's got the channel here for, for airflow. Straps are okay. Doesn't have a hip strap. I would like that. And also just, it was still a little small. Like the main compartment here is just too small. So kept searching. So we went to Mexico a couple of months ago and that was also one bag travel. I stuck with my Trail 40 because it was the only bag yeah. that I had. And we went to Cabo San Lucas, which if you've ever been there, you know that you have to fly into Los Cabos, which is roughly an hour bus ride away, 
or if you take a taxi it's like 45 minutes or something but still it's it's far. pretty far from the airport and then since we were trying to be real budget about it we took the bus which was i think um, five pesos no five dollars five dollars um per person yeah and then it drops you off well dropped us off maybe about half a mile from from our hotel so we had to walk and it was really nice just having that one bag just made it super easy i tried to use my osprey manta ag36 which is a bag that i've used backpacking before and it worked out well it was a little bit bigger than the other two options but the biggest problem i found with it is that the suspension system while really nice and has a lot of airflow, never really had any issues with, with that. Um, it has the, this wire here that's kind of bent. So if you want to put your laptop in, you need to either have a small laptop, which I had a 13 inch with just barely fit in there, or you just don't bring a laptop. Um, because it doesn't lay flush. Yeah, so you can kind of see here, it, it curves a little bit. And while comfortable, it just didn't work. And, and also I felt like, it was still a little bit small. Like I, I was still struggling to fit all the tech that I wanted to, as well as all the, I mean, I, all the clothes. I mean, it was ninety-five degrees average while we were there. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was still just not quite what I was looking for, and so unfortunately, couldn't dual purpose this bag. Um, that goes in the no pile. So, in about a month, actually. We are going to Europe. It's my first international trip, and we are trying to find the best backpack for this one backpack travel. All these bags had all these awesome components. I love the suspension system on the REI Trail 40. Dispersed weight through my bag really, really well. Awesome pockets, good suspension system. Really liked it. But I still didn't like the fact that how technical it looked. It wasn't a sleek, if you look through YouTube or Google and ask what's the best traveling backpack, you are going to find the Osprey Far Point 40. The Porter 46. Or some other backpacking Kelty, Kelty backpack. Red Wing 44. 44. You'll actually find some of the Trail 40, which is why we got it in the first place, because a lot of people were saying that it would serve as both backpacking and travel. And we have taken a backpacking trip, My, myself with the Osprey and her with the with the trail, and it was great. great. Yeah. So great. Excellent. What I'm looking for with a travel backpack is this more sleeker look, but with all the conventions of a backpacking backpack. You know, dispersed weight really well, awesome pockets, still able to use it as a backpacking backpack, but just a little bit more sleeker a little less thirsty. <laughs> yeah, a little less loud. Loud, as right. in like, hey, she's a tourist. Yeah, fewer straps and, and hooks and all that kind of stuff. So, no further ado. We found the REI Ruck Pack 40. The biggest benefit to this is that this bag and this bag are the same exact thing. The only difference between the women's and the men's version are the straps. So obviously for the men's, they're more tailored towards men and for the women, it's more tailored towards women. And it's a one size frame, which means you're not losing any volume um, depending on the size. gender sizing. Yeah. So if, on the Trail 40, it comes in a uh, large, extra large, or a small medium, which means that if you go to the small medium, you actually go down to a 36 or a 38 liter, so you lose volume. So this is a one size women's bag, which is 40 liters. And as, as you can tell, everything is sleek. There are no hanging straps outside, but you still get all the technicality of the bag. All of the strap system is still there. You can still use this as a backpacking backpack, but if you wanted to, if you wanted to, but it actually adds the traveling component to these bags. One, the zipper is behind your neck and they're lockable. There's lockable zippers here. Trail so, 40 did not have yeah. that. So the nice thing about that is if the zippers are behind your head, then 
it's going to be a lot harder for someone to just kind of open your zipper, grab whatever they can, and run off. And it's, especially since they're lockable, so mm -hmm. you, it's double security. Another awesome thing that they added to the traveling system of this is that it actually, the, there's a strap cover. There's a zipper system that goes all the way around that covers this up and you can hide away all these straps and you can check this as a duffel bag. And so that's, that's another thing. So it has straps on both sides so you can, so you can hold it either way. The straps are close to you, which means that it's not going to hang awkwardly. I guess we should just start from the top and, and work, work our way down zippers they open up into a full clamshell and there's cinch straps to cinch everything down if you need to so you access everything like a clamshell huge huge space in here you have an option for a water bladder if you'd like or what i'm going to use it for is all my tech so when we were going to mexico i got a grid it system which is just like a piece of cardboard wrapped in fabric with a whole bunch of elastic um, straps kind of in like a weave so you can put all your electronics and everything all nice and organized in that and then goes right right down there and then the laptop will be right with it and that's all the tech right there kind of already already all, already all in there. one yeah and then it comes with a side pocket here so the pocket on the trail 40 they got rid of that on this version on the front on the front and they actually put it on the back inside inside so we have a zip pocket here to, and then another zip pocket here i'm guessing for toiletries or anything else and that's pretty much the inside of the bag that's it we usually pack with packing cubes anyway, so it's easier for us to access anything that we need. On the sides. So on the Trail 40, it has four zippers to access anything, but because this is a travel backpack, there's only two zippers, so there's less access. But, but it comes with these side zippers, which is the side access to the bag. Into the main portion of the bag. So that is the only side access but, to the backpack. But so that that other mesh pocket that was inside, you can access that here. So you can have all your main stuff in there and then have something like a water bottle or something like that. Your here. shoes or, you know, <laughs> passport, <Excuse> maybe. <laughs> maybe. So we have two side water um, water bottle or shoe holders or shoe holders, which is which are expandable. I actually really like the fact that they have the mesh here that it's expandable because on my Trail 40 we stretch that out really quick. And so that little bit and having a, a cinchable strap is going to minimize the possibility of that happening, which will add to the longevity of the bag. So on the other side we have another water bottle pocket, and this is where your tech pocket comes in yeah. not very big but again I don't carry the tech stuff he does but this pocket right here will definitely fit my Kindle or maybe a really small tablet it is fleece lined and then it has all these other little pockets down here pens or anything like that the good thing is it has a hidden pocket within the pocket right here so even if they open this up there's something on the other side here, which will probably mean for passports. passports yeah. um, just so it's money. money. Like that, yeah. It's easy access, but it's not all the way out there. And that's about it. Oh, just kidding. Top pocket. Top pocket. <laughs> so it's not it's not huge, but it's good for sunglasses, stuff like that. Um, st stuff that you would want to get to easily that you don't need to put in the main pocket so for example if you're using this for backpacking you'd keep your bikini and your towel yeah. right here and then flip-flops on the side just switch into your bikini so you don't have to take out all your clothes but i'm guessing that's where it's gonna be our headphones for the plane eye patches or anything like that eye patches eye patch. are, you, are I, you a pirate what is it it's eye cover eye cover it's an eye patch it's both eye patch <laughs> It's a full eye patch, not just one. <laughs> but yeah, this is 
the Rug Pack 40. We say it's the best just because it marries the backpacking yeah. features and the suspension system into a sleeker design for travel. Yeah. So we're saying that for that reason, but you know, we still haven't gone on the trip. Yeah. We'll bring you along as well and show you how this bag actually works. Yeah. So wish us luck. See you next time. On Us Against the World. <laughs>